And also, in the cinder cones, in the lava flows, from this eruption, we found native Indian artifacts. So we know there were people living there at the time that the eruption occurred, and some of their artifacts were trapped in the material from this eruption. So, there were native Indian artifacts found in the lava flows and cinder cones. Now, this is volcanic rock. Now, when it comes to volcanic rock, the method of choice here would be the potassium argon method of dating. And so, uh, we potassium argon dated some of this material, and the laboratory that did the work came up with a date of 210 to 230,000 years old. I think that's more than 10%. Am I right here? Oh. Or what about this rock? This comes from Australia. This is a piece of volcanic rock from an eruption in Australia. Inside the rock, when we cut it open, we found this burned wood. It's really charcoal. Um, so let's think. This volcano erupted. The rock completely surrounded a piece of wood. There's no question there's no contamination here. The rock completely sealed the wood inside. Now, the heat of the lava caused the wood to burn. And so we were left with basically charcoal inside the rock and lava rock on the outside. Now, of course, since this is charcoal, you would use the carbon-14 dating technique. And the rock is volcanic, so you would use the potassium argon technique. Now, understand, please, I don't agree with these dates. You do understand that. I believe the Earth and the universe are 6,000 years old. However, the laboratories that did the dates got for the carbon-14 date on this wood, an age of 45,000 years old. Now again, I don't agree with it, but that's what they got. The lab that did the potassium argon date on the piece of lava got a date of uh, 37 million. I think I see a problem here.